Thanks for tuning in to Red Belt Radio. The following episode is scheduled for one fall. I'm Jason, and this show is dedicated to world wonder ring stardom. Today I'm using a match from night two of the five-star GP and a match from night three of the five-star GP to run a little bit of an experiment. I've realized over the course of this tournament's early stages that I've never really thought deeply about what I'm actually looking for when I look at wrestling. What is it about matches and stardom that influences my decision regarding whether something is bad, okay, good, great, or life-changing? I have always just gone off of nebulous feeling rather than actually appraising the match as a performance, an athletic display, a story, perhaps even a work of art. It's time to try something new. Well, new for me, anyway. I have put together a prototype system that can be used while watching wrestling matches to determine why they're good or why they're not good and just how good they are. Today, I bring to you the Clips Ranking System. This is likely a work in progress, so if anyone out there is listening and wants to provide feedback on this system, please do not hesitate. Also, I feel like I've got to mention the fact that so much of what I'm about to discuss is subjective. You might think I'm missing some things or needlessly valuing other things. What would you do differently? I'm happy to hear your thoughts. With that being said, let's talk about the CLIPS ranking system. The CLIPS ranking system is comprised of five elements, each of which is considered individually and evaluated by whoever's watching the match. The C in CLIPS stands for coordination. This represents how well the participants perform in relation to each other in aspects such as timing, proper positioning and execution, cleanliness of moves and counter moves, fluidity, and generally how well the wrestlers work as dance partners. The L in clips stands for lead up. This represents anything going on before the starting bell, something that has me interested in the match. This doesn't necessarily have to be a press conference or promo, but those things certainly qualify. Sometimes the fact that a match is a first-time affair or includes wrestlers who are at similarly interesting points in their careers can be enough. The I in Clips stands for in-ring storytelling. This represents the narrative beauty of the match itself what is conveyed, and how the match progresses from beginning to middle to end. What complications arise? What do the characters undergo in the process? What is the drama? Selling and match duration also factor in here. The P in Clips stands for physicality. This represents the unique gifts each wrestler brings to the contest and how they use them. This is often showcased through either strength, speed, or agility. Giant slams and extremely quick sequences both belong in the physicality category. The S in clips stands for surprise. What did the match do to make me think one thing and then deliver another? How did a wrestler's typical sequence get subverted? How did I not see that coming? I can't believe she kicked out of that. Surprise can sometimes lead to the greatest moments in all of stardom. How to go about scoring these five categories is very much up for debate. It's possible that some categories should be more valuable than others, depending on who you ask. So maybe the physicality category should be worth double the points of, let's say, the surprise category, 
if that's your preference, so be it. Here's what I went with today. It's a very simple points scale. Each category can score between zero and two points, which means the match as a whole is rated out of 10 total. 10 out of 10 is the highest honor we've got, at least with today's version. Now it's time to test our system out on a pair of matches. From night two of the GP, we have Salary Ano of Cosmic Angels versus Mariah May of Club Venus. And from night three of the GP, we have Natsupoi of Cosmic Angels versus the unaligned Suzu Suzuki. The following contains spoilers for both matches. I gave the Ano versus Mariah match a one in coordination. With these two being a solid fit in the ring, their chemistry is good, but hasn't yet reached that special magic that some pairings have. Lead up, however, gets a two. These wrestlers have an important title match on the way for the goddess belts, not to mention the fact that Mariah left Cosmic Angels on the same night that Sour rejoined. Put both wrestlers together for their first GP and their first one-on-one -on -one ever? Pretty stellar. In-ring storytelling earns a two as well. With the story being extremely clear, Mariah's strength versus Salary's strategy and limb isolation. The first move Mariah utilized was a display of her strength, and the first move Salary utilized went to Mariah's leg. The selling and drama of these contrasting styles was amplified from there. The story was clear, consistent, and compelling. The match is something I'm guessing wrestling students could learn a lot from. Physicality receives a one, as there were a few powerful moments from Mariah, including a powerbomb on the outside, but not a high volume of physical extremes. Lastly, Surprise also scores a one, with some slight misdirection, but nothing that will keep anybody up at night. After tallying up each category, Sauri Ano versus Mariah May gets a seven out of 10. Next match. The pairing of Natsupoi and Suzu Suzuki receives a two in the coordination category. Their well-timed back and forth at times gymnastic flow really made the match tick. The two were very much in lockstep with clean execution throughout. Lead up only gets a one since the characters have no real dramatic dynamic going on that I'm aware of. Mostly the intrigue stems from the fact that both had very impressive contests on the GP's opening night and are trying to score points in the block that has been turned upside down due to Saya Kamitani's injury. In-ring storytelling didn't quite get there, scoring just a one. The theme I noticed was that Suzu's rule-breaking aggressive style, the style that put her at odds with the ref at times, drove Natsupoi to a furious state, forcing Natsupoi to draw from a well of desperation in order to overtake her foe. But the match sort of just ended abruptly, and I think there was something more to convey. Physicality earns a two. These competitors are both fast, nimble, flexible, and willing to get mean as hell. They brought it, as usual. Surprise scored a one for me. With the main surprise being that Natsupoi secured the pinfall over Suzu whatsoever. These two did quite well, but I'm certain they have more to develop on when they meet again. This means that Natsupoi versus Suzu Suzuki also gets a 7 out of 10, albeit for different reasons than Saori versus Mariah. I had a lot of fun using the Clips ranking system to better understand my own tastes as a viewer, and I think it stands to make me a more attentive and deliberate spectator of the GP as a whole. Maybe I'll bring the system back for another spin sometime. Once again, please let me know what you think of this system or if you've come across something that you think works better or has worked for you in the past. Thanks for listening to Red Belt Radio.